So I'm illustrating the LCD oscilloscope, uh, the Arduino LCD oscilloscope posted on semifluid.com. Uh, it should turn on any second here. I'm uploading the sketch, there it goes. Um, what it's illustrating right now is the ambient 50 hertz uh, ground noise uh, here in Germany. I unfortunately don't have a proper sine square triangle wave generator. Uh, so it's difficult to unfortunately test this out other than uh, using what I have available, which is just a uh, good old ambient noise. Um, I basically just connected a wire, it's difficult to see in this image, uh, to the input that's just wrapped around a power cable to um, induce a current. But as you can see, it's averaging um, approximately 1.6 volts, so it's a, a basically the 0 to 3 volt. 3.3 uh, volt peak to peak. Uh, so I'm just going to illustrate a couple of the functions right now. Oh, got to turn on the serial monitor here. Okay, so when you turn the serial monitor with uh, the Arduino on our MacBook Pro here, it resets the circuit. That's okay. Um, it's actually on the auto uh, horizontal scaling right now, so that's why the uh, the waveform is changing in width. But what I can do is I can uh, change a number of the different properties. For example, a threshold value, I can change it from, right now it's rising, I'll turn it off. Here it is off. As you can see, it's um, quite a bit messier. That's fine because uh, it's not being triggered. Um, but if we change it now to falling, what should happen is, okay, there you go. Now it's uh, illustrating a falling waveform. Let's change to different threshold values from a very low value. There's a very low value. Uh, let's go to a higher value, slightly. And there's in the middle, so that should be uh, approximately 1.6 volts. Let's keep going up. And the highest threshold value there should be 2.9 volts. Okay, so I'll bring it back down to 1.6 volt threshold, uh, and what we can do is we'll turn off this auto horizontal time scaling. There's a little A in the upper right hand corner. Uh, I am turning it off. There we go. Now it's off. What we can do is then change the sampling period. So with the sampling period, uh, this is the fastest here. This is 28 uh, kilohertz, so 35 microseconds per sample. Let's increase that to 50 microseconds per sample. Uh, we'll increase that to 100 microsample, uh, microseconds per sample, that's 10 kilohertz. And then let's go to five kilohertz, which uh, gives us basically one complete waveform at 50 hertz. And the slowest sampling frequency that I have programmed here is 2.5 kilohertz or 400 microseconds per sample. So that seems to be working well. Then what we can do is we can also change the voltage range. Currently it's zero to 3.3 .3 volts. Uh, here it's zero to 1.65 volts. Let's see, we'll change it to zero to 0.825 volts. And again, unfortunately, I don't have a proper uh, function generator to really test this, so it's difficult to actually make sure that everything is correct here. So let me go back to da, 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 changing the voltage range to zero to 3.3 volts. There's our full range. And then finally, the last function that we have here, um, the lines are being drawn, or the uh, samples are being drawn as lines. We can change that to discrete dots by just changing this to dots. And it's a little bit more difficult to actually read. And actually, it seems like there is, oh, there it goes. It's all good. But if we change it back to lines, it's, a, it's just a little bit easier to actually see. So this is, again, the Arduino LCD oscilloscope uh, ported from the PIC 182550 oscilloscope that was posted oh, quite a few years ago on semifluid.com. So.
Thanks.